This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we will be starting our next topic, that is pipeline. Okay. So the the topics that we are going to cover in pipeline, they are we will see procurement process with pipeline, how the procurement process happens using this pipeline functionality. Settings required for pipeline process. What are the settings we need to do uh, in the system, SAP system, to execute this pipeline process, like what master data settings, uh, what are the settings we need to do, we will discuss. Define the characteristics of material type pipe. There is a, there is a material type called pipe how it is used, what are its characteristics, we will see, okay. Post goods movements for pipeline, stock. So how you need to do the goods movement, okay. Then settlement of pipeline withdrawals. So how the settlement is done for the invoices, for the, for the payment to the uh, vendor, okay. So these are the topics we will be covering in the pipeline. Okay? So first we'll start with the Pipeline process. Pipeline process we will understand. Special procurement pipeline. Okay. Pipeline material is a material that flows directly into the production process from a pipe. Okay. Like or from another kind of conduit. So pipeline material means the material which flows continuously, continuously and directly. So like oil or electricity. So in the in the in the manufacturing companies to produce products they need some electricity or they need water or they need any gases so all these things comes under pipeline so they are supplied via pipe continuously okay unlike consignment material pipeline material does not have to be required via purchasing so the the major difference here is you will not purchase it actually directly okay because it is always assumed to be available all the time okay so electricity it, it should be available for you all the time okay pipeline stock pipeline stock is not stock that is physically available in where in your warehouse so it this is not a warehouse material they will not store it physically in the warehouse so this is available all the time in a pipe pipe kind of thing or or, or in case of electricity some other uh, method like the again again i'm repeating the examples are like oil gases which are required for production or water water or electricity which directly flows okay material from the pipeline is always available and can be taken from the pipeline in any quantity at any time so that's what i just explained if this pipeline material is assumed to be always available and you take it from uh, you take the quantity whatever you want at any time at any time okay so the, the examples like the one which i explained for the production process of a material you need cold water suppose let's say for your production you need a cold water which you withdraw from a pipeline on the shop floor okay and this water consumption is settled regularly with the water company so let's say you are working in a manufacturing company you need a cold water for your production. So what you do, that cold water comes from a pipeline. So whenever you require, uh, you consume it. You tell the, to the water company that you, you give us the material uh, water via pipe. Okay, I will consume it whenever required and I will make you the payment like monthly. Example, you settle it regularly like monthly or, or once in a year. Okay, so that, that way this pipeline process will work. Okay. So, so this is how the uh, pipeline process flow. This is the business process flow. So what you do, you we are a company, we are the plant. Okay, we need a pipeline material. So what you do, you decide to purchase the material via pipeline. You will inform the supplier that you provide me the material via pipeline. Okay, he provides the material via pipeline. This is a pipeline. Okay, then whenever required, you withdraw it. You consume it. Withdraw means what? Consume it. That time your liability gets created. Then you will settle it regularly for a, after a particular duration, like every month or after every six months or after every one year, you settle it. So this is the process. Okay, so here 
you just inform him you supply the metal continuously via pipeline i will i will consume it whenever required whenever required and periodically i will i will pay you the i will make, i will make the payment to you that is a process okay so this we need to see how to execute in the system okay so we will first we will start with pipeline material creation okay so basically to have the pipeline process standard sap has provided a material type called pipe there is a material type available in the pipe which is pipeline material so the materials which are created with this material type material type you cannot create a purchase order you cannot create a external purchase order or even you cannot create an internal purchase order also that is the main characteristic of material type material type. okay so before showing this let me put the flow in the notepad file okay so basically in the normal purchasing normal purchasing what what we have discussed in the normal purchasing first what you do you create a purchase order create purchase order okay and then what you do next now by this time you have to tell what is the next step once you supply the material goods receipt you receive the material goods receipt and after that what you do he supplies the invoice then invoice it this is the normal flow normal purchasing but in case of pipeline in case of pipeline okay there is no po there is no po here you don't have po also okay directly you consume the material consume material from pipeline from pipeline and periodically make the payment simple so periodically make the payment that's all. only two steps here payment only two steps in the pipeline process so this we will see it in the system okay so for this you have to create the material with the material type pipe okay material type pipe so as i as i just explained the material type pipe normally used for materials like gas water power and for the materials which are created with material type pipe there is no inventory management no physical inventory we don't maintain any stock in the system okay it is assumed available in any quantity it is assumed that it is always available okay no purchasing and no mrp so for these kind of materials you don't have you don't have to do any separate purchasing or there is no planning for these materials no mrp okay and this material type uh, the materials which are created with this material type can be used as component in production order of course this is pp not mm uh, this material can be entered in the in the pp production order okay so that is also possible so basic point to be noted here is from mm perspective there is no inventory management there is no physical inventory and it is assumed it is always available okay and there is no limit for the quantity that is the main features and characteristics of material type pipe okay so let's continue so this is what i have just explained for pipeline material you must create a material master record with purchasing and accounting data for material of material type pipe note the following for the material pipeline movements are obligatory in all vary valuation areas in other words no other goods movements can be posted okay the material is not procured or planned so for this material there is no procurement as such and there is no planning also that's what i just explained the material is not stored and no inventory management is carried out for it so there is no uh, in the system there is no uh, storage kind of thing and there is no inventory management the material is not inventory yes just explained the material can be withdrawn from pipeline in any quantity at any time okay and the material can be used as a component with back flush in the production order of course this is pp this is production planning module okay so these are the some of the features of the pipeline material okay so now we will see the pipeline process okay so first you create a this is the flow in the system so first you create a material master 
you create the material with material type pipe and you will maintain a pipeline info record info record with category pipeline and if required source list you can maintain of course this is optional then you directly consume it you do post goods issue okay and then there will be a liability that means you will have to make the make the payment to the vendor and then you will make the payment to the vendor that's all. that is the basic flow it's very it's very simple basically it is very simple okay so now let's see the let's see this flow in the system okay let me log into the system i am logging on to a s4 hana system okay so let me create a material 